Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be looking at how to update our Amida SDN controller that's hosted here on Proxmox inside of a Linux container. I've logged into my Almida controller already, and if I go up here and go to About, you can see that I'm on 5.15.20. Heading over here to the Almida website, you can see the newest version that's out is 5.15.24, and that brings some cool mapping updates and other features that I like, as well as I like to stay in the most up-to-date versions of my software. So I'm going to update this. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is actually log out of the screen that I've already logged into. And then I'm gonna head back to my Proxmox web interface and I've already selected my SDN. Then I'm gonna go ahead, go to backups and let's click backup now and then backup. This will go ahead and make a backup of the container in case we have any problems during the installation of the upgrade of our SDN controller so that we can easily return back. It's one of the nice things about hosting software inside of Proxmox is we can back up and return back to where we are if we ever have problems. Now that we've gotten task okay, we know that everything's been set up and we can go ahead and close this window and you can see our new backup has been created here on 8.20 at X time which is today's date that I'm filming at. Okay, so the next thing we can do is head to console and we'll press enter to get ourselves a login screen. We're gonna enter our username, enter our password, and we're right here. Now, just like always, when I log into Linux, we'll go ahead and we'll do a sudo apt update to ampersands, a sudo apt upgrade, and we'll answer the why. Let this go ahead and execute and get our container up to date. I'll be back with you when this finishes. Now that we've gone ahead and got Ubuntu all up to date, we can continue on with the upgrade process for our controller. Since we're upgrading from version 5.15.20, we don't need to worry about the step of upgrading Java. But if you had an earlier version, you wanna make sure that you're running Java 17. Okay, so now that we have everything backed up and our system has been upgraded, we're ready to start the installation and upgrade of our new version of Omoda SDN. And the first things we're going to need to do is head over to the Amido website. And we wanna make sure that we are getting the .deb file. So here, our Linux version and our most up-to-date version, 5.15.24, right here. This is the file we're going to want to grab. We're going to go over here to downloads. We're going to right click and we're gonna copy link address. Then we're gonna head back to this container here and we're going to run an ls. You can. We're going to run an ls. So you can see there's some files here. I haven't done any cleanup from some previous versions or anything, but we're going to go ahead and download this .deb file so we can do the installation. To download the .deb file, we're going to type wget and then we'll paste in that link address press enter and the system will pull in the .deb file. Okay, so now that we have the .deb file downloaded, we can press ls and you can see that we do indeed have the .deb file of 5.15.24.19 right here. So we can proceed with the next steps. The next step is actually going to be to use the package manager or dpkg to go ahead and install the .deb file. We're going to have to do that with sudo since this needs to have admin permission to install software and write files. So this is what the command is going to look like that we're going to do. sudo dpkng-i and then the software. At this point, once this command's been entered, we can go ahead and press enter and the installation process will take a little while to install. The first thing it's going to do is stop the Omida controller. So now it's telling us that it's strongly recommended to back up everything and it's asking if we want to continue the installation. Since we backed up the entire container, we don't need to worry about backing up anything else. So we can go ahead and press enter and the installation will continue. At this point, it's restarting the Omida controller 
and it asks you to wait a minute. So now it says that it successfully started. We want to go ahead and restart our container to make sure that all the configurations take effect. We'll just do that with sudo reboot and we'll hit enter and wait for everything to come up. Now that we're back at our login screen, we can go ahead and head to the IP address of our SDN controller. And with our new SDN controller, we should be presented with our login screen. Go ahead and use the login from your previous version. And once you're logged in, you should be able to come up here to more, view down to about, and you can see that you're on the newest version, 5.15.24. So with that, I'm going to conclude this video because those are the steps for doing the upgrade from 5.15.20 to 5.15.24. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're now able to upgrade your software controller. As always, have a good night.